Hey, everybody. This is a very, very special announcement. The three of us have come together. This is me. I'm Mia Peoples, Dr. Buttar. Why are all these doctors, Dr. Bruce Lipton, and then the college dropout right here? <laughs> <laughs> what I have is a beautiful heart that's wide open and the ability to sing sometimes. We are coming to you um, today very specially to ask and invite you into something that we believe is very powerful for very special reasons. Um, it is a unique time on the planet, as we all know. And ultimately, when you drop right down into it, the most powerful place we can move from is the state of love. And so with that being said, I'm going to um, uh, move it over to Dr. Buttar and let you explain what we're here for. Right. That's what I mean. So some of you know of my military background, and I was made aware of a very critical thing that may be happening on Sunday. And the details are not important. The only thing that is important is that the energy that the planet experiences over the next 24 to 48 hours is as powerful as it can be. And we have the ability to shift, literally shift the planet. And um, after I'm done with my spiel here, then Dr. Lipton is going to show us exactly how to shift the planet. So Bruce, get ready for that. <laughs> but the point is that we need to have, as Nia said, hold that love and that gratitude and that compassion in our hearts. And starting at 11 p.m. or a.m., wherever you are, with the first time the clock hits 11, I want you to then, we want you to collectively to hold the intention of love and gratitude for the rest of humanity, for our planet, for the new evolutionary process that we are going towards that is part and parcel of where we are right now on this planet. And it's a difficult time, I understand, but remember that difficult, painful, chaotic time is what leads to that evolutionary process, which is necessary for growth. And that's where we're going. So hold that intention and visualization of where we are going to be in another month, two months, three months. And then when that clock hits 11 again, 12 hours later, do the same thing again. So that every hour, there are millions of people that are setting that intention, holding that intention, and it cascades every hour and takes us from Saturday night till Sunday, wherever you are in the world. Just start at 11. In fact, just, just do it for 48 hours. Do it three, four times. 11, 11, 11, 11. So that's what my intention is. That's what Nia's intention is. And that's what Dr. Lipton's intention is. Dr. Lipton. Well, this is uh, really what you have, uh, acknowledge is an evolutionary upheaval moment. Uh, the planet is uh, unsustainable, and we are, as humans, precipitating what is called the sixth mass extinction of life. The human behavior has to change in order for us to thrive into the future. We're, we're facing an extinction. And I say, so, but what's the relevance, as Nia and Dr. Buttar are talking about, you know, the consciousness and having a thought in your head, how is that going to affect the, the world? Well, let, let's start with the most important scientific fact, and that is simply this. The most valid, truthful science on planet Earth is quantum physics. There is no science that has been tested or affirmed more uh, than quantum physics. So if we're going to question a science, the last one I question is quantum physics. I say relevance. Because quantum physics is a science that recognizes that consciousness is creating our life experiences. That uh, uh, we, through our mind, are manifesting a reality. And there's a collective reality through collective consciousness. And you say, well, how can my mind be influencing the outside world? Because oh, it's in my head, and that's where everything is. And I go, yes, you know, you're right. If I put wires on your head, I could read your brain activity inside. It's called the electroencephalograph, and I could read your brain functions inside. However, there's a new technology called magnetoencephalograph, MEG, not EEG. And I say, what's relevant? I say, it reads brain function. I go, yeah, but what's relevant? I say, the probe in MEG devices does not touch the head. The probe is outside. And I said, well, what does that mean? I said, I could read your internal brain functions with a probe on the outside. And you say, well, what does that mean? And the answer is this. Our thoughts are not contained in our head. Our thoughts are broadcast. Our brains are like tuning forks. The more individuals that share a common thought, the more power that vibration is given. The power of the vibration determines the unfoldment of life on this planet. How many people are sharing a belief system? And so what we are calling upon right now is to recognize this. In the next couple of days, uh, at 11 a.m. or p.m., wherever you are in either time, 
uh, putting your thoughts into a vision of a world of being healthy, happy, uh, evolving into a, a, a beautiful community, a, a garden. Uh, these thoughts are important because if we collectively broadcast these thoughts when we think them, the amplitude of individuals, numbers, million individuals will empower that thought to help facilitate a change in our evolution. So your thinking is not just a byproduct of something going on. Your thinking is an active agent engaging change on this planet. And what we're calling upon you for right now is to recognize this. We must have new thoughts. The thoughts of fear from the COVID virus and all that is actually distorting who we are and actually in a, in a real sense of biology, creating a bigger problem with the fear. Um, it's time for us to change that. And so I'm really here with uh, Nia and Dr. Buttar to uh, really hope that you would pay attention to what we're trying to do because we're all collectively trying to create a better world. And that involves the thoughts that we manifest, not thoughts of fear, thoughts of health, harmony, love. And when we broadcast that in a large enough numbers, and it's already been demonstrated through satellite studies of the electromagnetic fields of the earth, then when humans collectively are involved with a thought process, it actually changes the electromagnetic field of the earth, which is giving shape to the physical reality. So it's not just a, hey, that's a nice suggestion. It's a scientific reality. Take our time, focus our thoughts on health, harmony, and a beautiful garden. And then collectively we will manifest those. And this is the intention that we really are working on sharing with the world. Absolutely. So when I, I said that Dr. Lipton was going to, when I said Dr. Lipton was going to actually help us to shift the planet, he literally just showed us how to shift the planet. And I want to leave this thought process with everyone that we are greater than the sum of our equal parts. So one plus one, if one person's putting an effort and another person's putting an effort, that's not like two people putting an effort together. One plus one does not equal two here. It equals 11. Now, if we can get hundreds of thousands to millions of people doing the same thing. So I'm going to share a formula with you that I only share with our members of the International Association for a Disease-Free World. But it basically, the formula goes like this. Live a result first, and then you can give a result. So the live and give, it's just the only letters that are different are L and G. The I-V-E-A result. I is intention, which is exactly what we're doing right now. The V is visualization. Visualize the outcome that you desire with the actual, as Maxwell Maltz, Dr. Maxwell Maltz used to say in his book, Psycho-Cybernetics, the theater of the mind. Envision what you want, the outcome. The E is emotionalize it, which is what Nia just talked about from a place of love from a place of compassion, gratitude, and then take those three things, the intention, the visualization, and the emotion, and now it's give a result. A is action. That A is the most important thing, whatever action you're taking, and the action of setting that intention, action of walking when you're doing it, uh, raising your arms, doing push-ups, whatever it is. If, you're, if you have the ability to help somebody, that's somebody that's in need, help them. Any type of action, if you can put an action behind that, that's the key. And that will lead to a result. So first you have to live a result and then you can give a result. I intention, B visualization, E emotionalization, then put some action behind it and that will give you the result. That's what we're doing. We had this intention. We're now visualizing what we want. We've emotionalized it. We're putting the action to make this short video for you to give you the guidance. 11 o'clock AM, 11 o'clock PM, two days in a row. Do that starting as soon as you see this video. The first 11 o'clock it hits, start it. And our, our intention is with you, our intention is with the planet. And for those of you who, who are used to listening to the way that I speak, it's the be, do, and have. So it's dropping into the simple, just a, give yourself permission to feel the feelings of the joy and the love and the appreciation and the gratitude, all of that. And from that place, you drop that intention in. And that's how it works on our, like, as you walk through the planet in your day, that's what it looks like for me. Give yourself permission to feel that by placing your awareness on something that brings you into that state of being and then move from that state with that intention. It's, it's that simple for, for me and I'm sure it is for everybody else too. So I'm so grateful um, that, the, I mean, the three of us just jumped up because we knew it was really, really important to be here and to, and to 
bring everybody together. So um, 11 o'clock. I'm hitting every 11 o'clock for the next. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm on it. Awesome. So we'll Thank see you guys go. out there. Whatever time it is for you, the quantum field, there is no time. We're with you. We can do this. Absolutely.